Hello guys, I am very excited to introduce you to this new hugging face model IDFX to 8 billion chatty. I already have covered this IDFX model on my channel earlier, but this model is a new one because it comes with a twist and I will show you shortly. We will be installing this model locally and then we will also be playing around with it. Before I introduce you to this model in detail and show you how to get it installed, I wanted to express my gratitude to one of the viewer whose first name is King. I'm not sure um, he wants me to, he or she wants me to um, introduce him to the channel, but this guy was the first person who went ahead and uh, bought me a coffee through the website, through the channel. So thank you so much. I am very grateful. This is the first time anyone has done it. So this is, uh, this means a lot. So thanks a lot. Much, much appreciated. And I'm so glad that people are loving the channel and the video so much that they are doing this. So my really heartfelt gratitude for that. Okay. So having said that, let's go back to this model. And before we get it installed, let me give a brief overview about this model. Now this model, IDFX2 uh, as they call it, it has just been released. IDFX2 chatty version is an open multimodal model that accepts arbitrary sequences of images and text inputs and produces text outputs. The model can answer questions about images, describe visual content, create stories grounded on multiple images, or simply behave as a pure language model without visual inputs. It improves upon IDFX1 and significantly enhances capabilities around OCR, document understanding, and also visual reasoning. One of the beautiful things about this model is that it has been released under the Apache 2 license. So this is amazing. And now this IDFX2 8 billion chatty version is fine-tuned on long conversation, which is amazing. The model type is image plus text. It only deals with English at the moment and its parent models are Siglip, so 400 million and Mistral 7 billion. These IDFX models can be used to perform inference on multimodal, which means image plus text tasks in which the input is composed of a text query along with one or more multiple images. And we will see two images in our example shortly. Text and images can be arbitrarily interleaved. That includes image captioning, visual question answering, but you cannot generate images with these models. So, it's, so these are not image generation model. So you can process your model with these. Um, you can process your images with these model, but not generate them. Okay. So having said that, now let me take you to my local system, and then we will see how to get started. My local system is Ubuntu twenty two point zero four, and I have one GPU card of twenty two GPU of VRAM. Hopefully that should be enough for this model. Let me clear the screen. Now, in order to get started, I would highly suggest that you install everything in the Conda virtual environment. I already have Conda installed, which keep, which will keep everything nice and separate for me. If you don't know how to install Conda, please search my channel. I already have done a video around that. So let's clear the screen and Create a virtual environment, IDFX Python 3.11 should be good. Let's press Y here and it is going to install everything nice and clean. That is done. Let's activate this IDFX environment and you will see that it is activated in this parenthesis. Let me clear the screen. Now let's install the latest version of Python. So I meant transformers. So in order to make sure that I'm installing the latest version of Transformers, I'm going to uninstall it and then I'm going to build it from the source from its GitHub repo. Because I'm using a virtual environment or Transformer is not available. And let's wait for it to finish installing the latest version of Transformers from this branch. Transformers is done. Let's clear the screen. Also make sure that you have pillow installed because we'll be processing our images with the pillow. That is done. Let's clear the screen. And now let me launch my Python interpreter. From here, first let's import 
the trans, uh, transformers modules like auto model for vision auto tokenizer and the auto image processor let's press enter and now let's import the pytorch request and also the below that is done and i have also imported the load image library just because i wanted to load the image from the url let's set the device to cuda that is done too now there are two images i'm going to use for this example let me take you to my browser and show you those images so this is an image which i will be passing to the model telling it that uh, there is a text and there is this statue of liberty and then i will ask the image on the basis of this that what exactly is present in this image so this is what we are going to do so we will be telling the image what is in this image so sort of a few short uh, we are giving it an example with a text prompt and then we will uh, ask it about this image so this is what this chatty idfix2 does so you can chat with it and then you can pass it more and more and more images and then it will because it's a fine-tuned one it can hold a long conversation with you so that is the whole idea which we are going to test in this one okay let me give the url of the images so just for the sake of completion i'm giving it three urls which i have just shown you first and second so these are the urls which i was talking about and now let's define the image processor with the help of this idfix2 8 billion model and as you can see that it is downloading the model and that is processor is defined and then this is where the actual model download happens so let me run it and it is going to download this whole model and you can see that there are seven tensors so hopefully it will fit on my gpu if not at least we would be able to show you the instructions as how to install it but let's cross our fingers let's wait for all of these tensors to get downloaded it looks good so it should be fairly quick seventh and last tensor is being downloaded once the download will finish then the moment of truth will come because it will be loading all of those shards onto my gpu card if that happens all good otherwise i'm going to show you the installation steps so you see that now it is going to load the checkpoint shards on my gpu so let's wait to see what happens three of the shards are loaded now it seems like a crime thriller let's wait to see if it if it is able to load all of them or not okay so the final one is being loaded it is so close so fingers crossed so unfortunately my system is still stuck here you can't even press enter so i'm just going to leave it as is and if you, any one of you know jensen huang then let me know uh, i mean uh, if you could give me any h100 card so i will let it run but meanwhile i'm going to take you to my vs code and then local and then i'm going to tell you the whole code which i am running here and i will also drop this whole code in my blog and drop the link in video description so that if you have more powerful gpu you could simply run it and it should work so we already have done until this point where the model is being downloaded and load, being loaded onto the chart after that you see that we are dividing we are just giving it a prompt where this is a user prompt and then we are giving it that text the first image and then here the user is asking about the next image as we were referring to earlier and then we are passing it to chat template function which we defined earlier and from there we are passing it two images one and two so on the first one the model will take it as an example the second one we are asking it and how about this image and then we are also inputting the kv um, value caches to the image as an input and the tokenizer is converting it then we are generating the ids and then we are decoding it through the tokenizer and the processor and then we are printing the generated text about the second image so this is how it works you can 
chat with the model and you can replace it with any images you like we have used urls but you can even use uh, image in the raw format locally from your disk it is quite flexible in that regard so let me go back to the terminal to see if it finished nope so it is still taking time i'm not sure i think it is going to crash because it doesn't take that long and then i think it will just error out anyway that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this model and if somehow you are the lucky enough to have that much resources try it out let me know your first hand experience if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching